Many thanks for being there. And if you've just joined us, the program is still Good Morning Abuja. And it is coming to you from the Unity Station NTA Channel 5. And on to our very first conversation on the program this morning, we want to talk about what concerns me and you. Yes, you can all agree with me that the world has become a global village. And anything that has advantage will in turn have a disadvantage. We want to talk about crime prevention reduction this morning with an urban security strategy. Help us welcome Dr. Peter Olumuji to the program. Doctor, you're welcome to the Thank program. Thank you very much. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, so now we're talking about internet crime, um, crime reduction. reduction. Yes. Let me start from the simplest question. Okay. Can it even be reduced? Well, Very important. Um, internet crime can be reduced, but unfortunately, it's getting worse day by day. Mm. Because when you talk about internet crime, you're talking about cyber crime. Yes. And uh, cyber, the cyber space is an open space mm -hmm. that so many countries are trying to see how they can uh, build walls mm. to protecting their facility, information facility. And the way you talk about cyber, and we talk about internet crime, mm. that you are not talking about cyber security. And when you talk about cyber security, cyber security deals with the field of information and information system protection mm. um, from the threat of confidentiality, threat of integrity, and threat of availability. Mm. And that is why you see, when you talk about cyber crime, most people are not playing their part. And in this part of the world, we are not that uh, aware, there's no needed awareness on how you can protect your information or information system, okay. which is up there in the cyberspace. Mm -hmm. So if we are really talking about using it, it's, and I want to say it's an equivalent tax, because even in civilized world, mm -hmm. those uh, Western world, the cyber attack on a daily basis mm -hmm. on critical infrastructure because most of them depend on the on the cyberspace for their transportation system, mm -hmm. for their financial system, and the rest. And we've had repeated cases of hackers hacking into this system. Mm -hmm. So it's a global phenomenon and it's an urban phenomenon that has become an emerging security risk to the entire world. Mm -hmm. And I pray that we'll be able to do something to read because every system will be automated very soon. Mm. And the aspect of threats hacking into the system mm. is, is going to give us a lot of concern in the entire world. Okay, manage. okay. Talking about uh, raising awareness about cyber security prevention. Yes. yes. What uh, best educational method or strategy do you think we can engage to, you know, really raise this awareness about the cyber crime? Yes, one, 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 one of the methods is what uh, NTA uh, Channel 5 Abuja is doing mm -hmm. by having uh, me on this platform mm -hmm. because you have to create the awareness to the people. Mm -hmm. They must see it and they must hear it. Mm -hmm. And we hope that uh, our national education agency mm -hmm. should we play their own role in doing this. Mm -hmm. But basically, we have some tips that people should be able to work on. Okay. Before now, we all depend on our password, password mm, or phone yes. or phone numbers. Mm, our password but is really two-step verification. Not, no, no, no. two-step verification is an advanced way of protecting your information, information. and information system. And it works you know, very and well. It works very well. We call it, a, it, it helps more in your biometric system. Mm -hmm. And that is why basically they tell you do your true uh, uh, step Just verification. Step they also tell you that you just don't depend on your normal uh, traditional password. Mm -hmm. You now do more of your um, what they call it now. Um, you do more of um, of um, um, updating. No, not of, not only, not only updating. Just your password must should not be um, must less. Be, no, must not be less than. Eight, eight letters. letters. Some people say sixteen. Have, yes, 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 and it must be a mixture of words and number numbers and symbols. Okay. symbols very, yes. very then aside that, you still talk about the facial recognition, mm -hmm. which yes. some uh, platform also offers. Yes. Okay. Because yes. there's no way somebody can uh, can you know uh, clone your, your face, your face. Mm. at this particular point in time. 
And also you talk about fingerprinting. Mm -hmm. You know, fingerprinting is another biometric way of protecting your information mm -hmm. and information system. So when you want to really protect mm -hmm. your system from hackers and the rest, your two-way verification is very necessary. Mm -hmm. Fingerprinting in your on your system is good. Then also trying to mix your password with symbols, letters, and numbers. Mm -hmm. Talking about cloning, do you know what they now do with ATMs? So even if you go to POS, you have to be careful who you give your ATM. ATM too. I learned that some of them even have cameras, hidden cameras up there. So you know you're supposed to slot in your card. Yes. You know that those um C V V num C V V number at the back. Yes. Once they turn it, the camera captures it. Captures the and once they get that one and they those your your numbers in front, that is the end. That's why you most times you hear you see debit alerts, film, film, just going out of your phone like that. No, again, you know one other thing that we are vulnerable to is uh, trying to go to the web mm. on secure websites and trying to log in or opening a website that they just tell you, okay, I open this and update your account number mm. or account detail. And so and when they send you, you see questions, they start asking you questions, they start answering and they tell you, put your it's password, put yeah. this, and you put it. Once you insert those passwords it's there all. and your detail is gone, mm. your money is gone. And there's something, there's even this platform that is called uh, Activision. That mm. is another hacking uh, wow. platform, platform that they use in wiping off people's money from their account. Mm. Because you just want to buy a game innocently. Mm. But as you are doing that over there, it's, mm. a, it's, 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 it's an hacking platform. Wow. So yeah. once you insert mm. your details, that is all. In you fact, know, most time I would Most say, people have fallen victim of mm. this. Thing. Most people, mm. and we keep hearing stories. Now, yeah. let's, talk, let's talk about uh, mobile app developers. Yes, as you try to round up the program. What role do you think they can play to help reduce this uh, uh, cyber crime? Uh, yeah, the dimension? mobile app developer have played their part. Mm -hmm. They've told you in their guarantee or in their uh, awareness uh, before you even accept using their platform. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, please do not do this, do not do that. But again, it still boils down to the individual. The individuals. Most times we do this because of greed. That will somebody send you a message and say, oh, yo, I have a friend, I can't access my money, please just give me five minutes and, and I'll return the money back to you, pay into such and so account. Most of what they do is that if you receive any message that you, you are not sure of, call the person. Yeah. So yeah. mobile app developers will play their role. But if you are vulnerable, if you don't do the right thing, if you don't protect yourself, that is what we call cyber safety. You know, cyber safety deals with you. Now, taking deliberate step in protecting your information, mm -hmm. your, your your information system, and everything that concerns you. And that is why you don't need to share your OPT. You need to do your two-way verification code. You need to have an enhanced biometric in ensuring that you protect your information mm -hmm. and your information system. So um, and that, uh, the developer of, uh, of um, what is it again? Of this website, website and yes, the play their own role, but you as an individual, you must that's what we call situational awareness. So should it should you take that as your so, final words? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> so you see, he has said it all. Yes, like yes. we all have a role, role to, play. to play. It's not only for the government or agencies or, or the developers or even or individuals. Yes. We all have a role to play. to play. We should stop sharing and just logging into any website anyhow. Well, thank you so much, sir. That was really educating. Thank you. Anana, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your time with us.